is Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are in San Diego County today, and we are joined by one of the supervisors from San Diego County. He represents North County, and his name is Bill Horn. He's been on the board and has become really a specialist on fiscal matters in connection with the county. We know a few years ago, municipalities, be it counties or cities, were really struggling under the weight of pension obligations, a downturn in the economy. Our friends in San Bernardino went bankrupt in Stockton. I mean, these were tough times. Talk to us about San Diego's fiscal health. Well, I first got on the board in 1995, um, right when Orange County went bankrupt. Ah, of course, yes. Bankrupt. Uh, we were next in line. and You uh, felt that? I mean... Oops. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, we spent three sleepless wow. years um, trying to figure out how to get out of this mess. But in those days, my dad was alive. Okay. And he'd never let you file for bankruptcy. <laughs> he'd have you digging ditches with a shovel. Well stated. To pay your debts well back. Well stated. Um, so I didn't feel that we could file for bankruptcy. That was an option presented to us. Really? I didn't know that. Um, and then uh, a lot of outside consultants, which we paid for, came in and told the county that uh, we needed to sell off our portfolio um, and try to get $310 million right. to pay off some of our debts. Um, we would have lost that money. Um, three of us resisted doing that, so we did not do that. Um, we just put a freeze on the county funds, mm -hmm. um, and anybody that had money in the county treasury um, you could not take the money out unless it was an extreme emergency, busted sewer lines, something like that. I understand. And so only one organization took their money out. Um, and uh, that year we only made 3%, but we didn't lose $310 million. I see. And so um, then we kind of went on a quest till 1997. Um, I was chairman of the board in that year, and we sold the trash system for... Um, 206 million. San Bernardino did that recently right. to try to close yeah. their hole. And then we got 184 million in cash, mm. biggest cash transaction, and uh, we paid off our bonds. I kind of convinced my colleagues uh, mm -hmm. to pay the bonds off rather than spend the money. Got it. Um, and so we've kind of been on an upward hill financially uh, ever since then. Uh, we went to a double A uh, credit rating uh, right after we did that. Um, then we we held some reserves. We had a hundred million dollars we put in fantastic reserves after we sold the trash system, um, and so the county basically today we have triple A bond rating. Um, we've had it for what nine years. How did you hold that rating during the downturn when other counties and cities were struggling? We do not spend one-time money on ongoing mm -hmm. programs, which is kind of a rule that all five of us have agreed on. Um, and we've, even though we've become very close to some, some of my colleagues wanting to change that rule, um, we haven't done it. So okay. we have maintained that reserve, um, even though the monies are maybe, um, set aside for future projects, um, like the crime lab, which we could talk about. Right. Yeah. Let's, minutes. let's do that. I want to hear the, about this new crime lab. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, th those kinds of projects, mm -hmm. that those monies are set aside, even though they haven't been spent yet. Those are kind of cash reserves. And so the three credit rate agencies that look at your finances realize uh, that you're in good health. Um, and so we used to have to borrow money all the time every year just for property taxes. It was called the trans. Cash flow? Yeah. We don't have to do that anymore. I mean, we're that good a shape. Um, but my, the, can, the, issue here is if your finances at home are good then you can do other things um, but and you don't have to struggle with you know public safety you don't have to struggle with jails you don't have to struggle in fact the can our county we build libraries um, with cash we build parks with cash uh, the crime lab which I just mentioned uh, 400 million dollars uh, that that money is being paid mostly with uh, 100 of that is um, bonds and the rest is cash. Mm -hmm. So when you have that kind of ability um, and you bring in this crime lab for the entire region to, to deal with, um, that's something we can afford to do. Uh, and unfortunately, some other counties are not, I mean, they're in dire straits uh, given the finances that are in the state of mm -hmm. California. Uh, but we have for, and I've been on the board 21 years, almost 22, um, 
for me that one of the most important things that I have learned in business operation is to be financially sound. Right. And so I've tried to make the county of San Diego um, in that condition. So I hope that continues on when we're gone. Right. Uh, but at the same time, um, you know, you mentioned that the pensions and mm -hmm. obligations and those kinds of things. Um, we're able to, to be in the shape we're in today just because we've been very prudent over the right. last 21 years. One of the challenges, though, facing the county and the 17 cities is a homeless crisis. Right. It's not unique to San Diego. It's throughout the state, including and especially in Los Angeles County. But we do see homelessness spiking, and that can be a drain on county coffers, although I'm sure you're trying to stay on top of it. But talk us through homelessness, including and especially amongst veterans, an important part of this community, where that actually is a good news story, where we do see the drops in the veterans homeless population. Yeah, and including that we have from the Veterans Administration, the, vash, the uh, vouchers, uh, we, we have trying to speed up that process so we can get housing for the homeless veterans. But at the same time, we just, because of the housing, right, I, I wouldn't say crisis, but uh, factor that we have in San Diego Close. County, um, we can't. We have a hard time filling some of those uh, reservations because although we have the vouchers, we don't have the vacancies to fill them up and, with. And as I understand as well, sometimes the vouchers don't cover the cost that right. the landlord is pursuing, and so that can become a double challenge. I, I do want to, though, dig deeper because veterans homelessness is a highlight of the war against homelessness, how can San Diego and other counties replicate the success of defeating veterans homelessness with the general population? Well, we're in a unique position in San Diego County. Number one, we have Camp Pendleton, right. where a lot of Marines are being discharged. We have Navy Base San Diego, where you know half the fleet is is parked in our bay of course uh, and we have dependents of the 3.3 million people we have in the county of san diego probably about a million three uh are military related wow. either, either dependents right. or active duty or uh and then you have a huge retired population you know when they they go in the service and they spend 24 years in the Navy, and they decide they don't want to go back to Iowa. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> they say, well, they, I can understand why. They stay here. Right. So you have this huge uh, military population, um, which on the, the your, your uh, okay. question was, those people understand veteran homelessness. Yeah, right. You know, that, so that's a 30-year population. We have in North County in Vista, we have um, uh, several uh well, actually, in North County, we have several um, housing programs for them. We have the Hawthorne Center, which mm -hmm. is in Escondido, which is not my district, but it's a great program. Uh, somebody goes into the hospital for surgery. They're a veteran. They, they need a place to recuperate. They don't have that. Uh, the Hawthorne Center is, is put in place. Um, Tom Hawthorne, by the way, was a B-29 pilot during the Korean War. Mm -hmm. uh, so very, very right, proud. great guy. Um, and then uh, we have in Vista. We have uh, the, uh, the homeless facility with, which houses families, um, and th that's, we've been funding that for a long time. I'd love for you to come and, back, sir, and talk more about this issue, if we can. And but, we're, yeah, yeah, and we're going to have, uh, at Green Oak Ranch, we're going to have the uh, veterans stand down uh, right. right first year. Okay, so you'll come back. We'll talk about a new veterans app that you're rolling out in San Diego County yes. the next time you're on. His name is Bill Horn, supervisor in San Diego County, where we are today. Brad Pomerantz, Local Edition.